Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Monday the 15th of March. We start, we remember our wonderful Father in heaven. Let's say together, to you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy on us. Today let us look up with confidence, crying out for God's mercy, God's help. To take a moment, look back at the last few days and give thanks for everything that has been good. And I'm possibly oddly thankful for uh, just two funeral, well, one phone co- funeral phone call and a funeral Zoom meeting, revealing just um, how lovely some people are. We give thanks for the lives of Louise, of Victor, of Margie, whose funeral will be on Thursday. And I just give thanks for spring, for birds on my birds feeder. Thankful for very good friends uh, and just a lovely a generous act that we enjoyed eating. We give thanks. And as we give thanks, let us also pray for God's healing and God's way forward for anything that's made us sad. For those on our hearts this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as I think we need to keep doing ever so often, we just pray for our media and for truth. Let's pray together. Father, we pray for the media during this time, for the right leadership for the BBC, for wisdom and passion for pursuing truth and justice and not just sensation, for constructive debate, freedom of speech and correction of lies. And Father, as we pray for ourselves, we pray for that truth in all countries for truth to bring down tyranny. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray together for our churches. Heavenly Father, as we rejoice that you call us to be your children, we pray for opportunities to share that good news with others that we might make disciples and bring your light and healing. We pray particularly for the Oaks Church and their Restore Project, feeding the poor and stopping waste. We pray for Life Dronfield and their plans to buy the parish church hall and transform it as a place of welcome, mission and action. We pray for our work with children using the internet at this time, for packs for parents to use at home. Lord, as you abide in us, may we abide in you. Take a moment to consider the day ahead of you. Consider what you're looking forward to and what worries you. Let us offer to God what we can and trust him to provide 
what we need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light upon our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all people in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Continuing to read from Mark. Jesus and his disciples were on their way up to Jerusalem, with Jesus leading the way. And the disciples were astonished, while those who followed were afraid. Again, he took the twelve aside and told them what was going to happen to him. We are going to, up to Jerusalem, he said, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the, of the law. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the Gentiles, who will mock him and spit on him, flog him and kill him. Three days later, he will rise. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? he asked. He replied, let one of us sit at your right and the other at your left in your glory. You don't know what you are asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink or be baptised with the baptism I am baptised with? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, you will drink the cup I drink and be baptised with the baptism I am baptised with. But to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared. When the men heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Quite a shocking passage. I just kind of, well, I can't kind of get my head round, if you like, how Jesus must have felt and the frustration. The extraordinary explicit warning of what the disciples were about to face. Jesus' death and then his resurrection. And James and John almost ignoring, still clinging to this idea of, of kind of maybe an earthly glory avoiding the crucifixion, asking to be at his right and his left. James, of course, in the end, did drink the cup in the sense of becoming the second Christian martyr. John faced no end of persecution. They are now reigning with him in glory. But are we willing to be baptised with the same baptism? Are we determined to serve?
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus, you are the light of the world, a light that no darkness can quench. Upon your church, wrestling with the darkness of evil, battling against doubt, let your light shine. Upon the world governments, facing gloom and despair, battling against disaster, let your light shine. Upon those that live in the shadows, caught up in sorrow and strife, struggling against oblivion, let your light shine. Divine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So may the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and the love of God, of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest upon you and remain with you, this day and always. Amen. So thank you for praying with me and for me. Bye-bye.